and gentlemen, it's your boys, Timbrose and Brick, back with the highly anticipated video of the year. That's right. Today, we are picking our top four picks of Bachelor 2019, baby. And let's start out by saying this. We've done this eight times. Yes. We have picked 32 people to go to the final four and over our career. And we have been right 100% of the time. Incorrect. I'm only going to speak for myself. I think the only person I've ever predicted to go to the Final Four and actually succeeded was Jordan Rogers oh. during JoJo season. Who was the biggest lock of all it time? It was the mortal <laughs> lock of the century. So, I gotta say, I don't have a great history with this, but I feel pretty good about this one. I feel pretty good too, man. And I, I'll say, I know for me, last year I had Blake as the winner, I think, and came pretty damn close. You were pretty close, yeah. But I can't also, fault you for that. Early, Rebecca made a bad choice. Yeah. Early in the year, also had Jessica Carroll as winning The Bachelor, <laughs> and she went out and I won. So that, but, I think, balances it out. But Spin Zone, we got her on the show. That's a good point. Because we were so bullish on her. So That's a good point. For these top four, you can expect to see them on the show if they don't do very well. Exactly. Anyways, man, let me ask you the question of the night, and yeah. that is... Who you got? Yeah, let's no more delay. Who you got? Number one, I got Kaylin, Ooh. the North Carolina Miss America co uh, contestant. Right. Ended up being the first runner up. We talked about her in the last uh, okay. last video. Yes. The next person I have is Cassie, the uh -huh. speech pathologist from Huntington Beach, California. Hell yeah. I think she's really going to start out with Colton as her subject, and then they're going to fall in love. It'll be oh. a classic, almost Jane Austen novel. Okay, right. The next person that But I, aren't you concerned that perhaps that might uh, conflict on her thesis? Uh, do I think it will? Yes. Am I concerned about it? No. Okay. Because right. love trumps all. No. I learned that from Interstellar. Good point. Uh, the next thing, <laughs> the next person I have is Adriana Dr Jane. Yes. Now, I know you and I both agree this person is a force to be reckoned with. 100%. Like. She's a uh, do-gooder. She's a social worker. Yeah. Uh, I think her and Colton are going to share a lot right of the same Right up Colton's alley. The last person I have, I talked about this in the last video, I think she is going to be very quiet early on, and then she is going to pop and capture the hearts of America okay. and Colton. Okay. Laura. Ooh. Laura. The All one right. who came from El Paso. All right. And is going to take America by storm. That's right. You're running that El Paso fever, man. There's something in the water There's there. There's something in the water. I, I, I'm, I'm betting on El Paso more than her. We should be taking a trip down to El Paso just to fill up some water. Of water. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Just to hydrate. Yeah, because... just so we can get to 4,000 subscribers. <laughs> exactly, yeah. man. That's, or maybe back to 3,000, yeah. honestly, by the time this airs. Yeah, we'll probably have lost a little bit. Anyways, my top four, I'm starting with yeah, Alan. Who you got. That's right. Who I got. My top four, I'm starting with Alex B. That's right. The False Prophet. Alex B. The oh, False Prophet, okay. man. Yeah, All right, that's yeah. right. Because I think she's going to make it to the top four. But as I said in our preview videos, which you hadn't watched, you better go back and watch it right now. Because mm -hmm. you will find that I said that they're going to have a little bit of a conflict. Because ultimately, it's just going to be a competition as to who can do more better Who's deeds. Who's more of a do-gooder. Exactly. Who's on a higher horse. Exactly. Yeah. And it's just going to be too much. Too yeah. many good deeds. Okay. Right? Next, we got Brie for the only reason uh, that she just looks like somebody yep, Colton should end up yep. with. I got nothing else other than that. Yeah. Uh, Adrian Jane, I agree with you 100%. I think that's right Rock up sorry. Colton's yep. alley. Uh, and then I got Tasha, uh, the phlebotomist. Wow. Another churchgoer. Okay. Yep. The one that uses Facebook stories uh, more than anybody else on the <laughs> earth. Uh, and I think that uh, that's going to be our top four. All right. So the only one that we agree on is Adriana. Uh, Adrian Jane. Adrian Jane. That's right. Uh, which means she's going to be out night one. Yes. Uh, but we are going to get her on the show. That's so right. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So how about who we got as the winner mm. of this season, right? All right. I am ready to plant my flag down and be right about this for the first time okay. in two years. That's right. You're feeling good, man. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. You're I am going to go with Kaylin. Now, oh. if you didn't if you didn't watch our video, again, go ahead and watch that video. But she I was the one who I gave the award of most verified to. And okay. if there's anything we know about our fame whore of a bachelor is that he is attracted <laughs> to people who have a track record of gaining publicity. Right. Al, uh, Allie Raisman, um, Tia, and right. then when Becca became the bachelorette, Becca. 100%. So I think someone who already has a certain amount of clout to her is going to be the thing that pushes her over the edge. Kaylin is the winner for me. Dude, I think that's a really solid pick. Despite the fact that she's not in my top four. I still respect <laughs> it. I still respect yeah. it. Uh, but I'm going with Adrian Jane, man. I think wow. Adrian Jane, the wow. social worker, the bona fide babe. Yeah. She's got Nails. all the accolades and tools that Colton is looking for. And I think she's going to be the one that ends up with the 
unlucky prize of <laughs> uh, potentially marrying Colt Linderman. Yeah, yeah, that's what we got there. So no, that, that's going to be where the real social work starts when she uh, starts living with. That's Colton. a that's a good point, man. Anyways, bonus pick: mm. Bachelorette next season. <sighs> See, this one is really tough because we have a lot of contestants here who are in that twenty three to twenty four age yeah. range, and I really don't want to be stuck with a bachelor who or a bachelorette who's going to be young. So. I am going to go with Cassie. No, oh, okay. I'm going to go with the speech pathologist. Okay. Now she is 23, but <laughs> she has she'll have a masters by that time, so yeah. she'll have a certain amount of I don't know. She'll have a certain amount of uh, poise to her, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. Uh, but if Kaylin doesn't win, obviously Kaylin's going to be the bachelor. Yeah, she could be working on some kind of like post grad study now, right? Yeah, you know, exactly. that could be what the the whole show's about. I, but I agree. I'm going to go the other direction, man. You said you don't want somebody who's 23. Then well, how about we go with 28, like the phlebotomist, yeah. Tasha, yeah. who I think That'd is going to be a her. big winner as far as next season's Bachelorette because I think she's going to capture the hearts of America cool. and she's going to fall just short of, as we said. The worst prize in the history of her. <laughs> history of American television. <laughs> Colton Underwood's heart. Yeah. And uh, she's going to luck out pretty good because then she's going to get 30 suitors of her own later in the summer. By the way, I like that the person that we were the most bullish on in our preview videos, uh, the person who we said we were standing for, our queen, Nicole. That's right. The neither chair. of us mentioned her in this nah. uh, in this video. Nah. So, I'm... Nicole, if you're watching, <laughs> stop watching. Forget you saw this. Yeah. Because uh, we stand for you hard. Yeah, that's right. We do. As the brick chick, we stand for you hard. Anyways, let us know in the comments below who your top four picks are and better yet who you think is going to win this season of the bachelor and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and where can they find us on ig they can find us at two bros brick uh we will be sending messages to anybody who sends us a direct message that's new this year that's right it's gonna be our 2019 <laughs> resolution that's right and we are gonna post somewhat regularly and i'm gonna even say this we're gonna post good quality pictures, not oh. grainy screenshots. I don't know, man. That, that, that might be getting a little <laughs> right, higher right, ourselves. Right. But right. we will, we <laughs> will respond to people this year. That's so. right. So hit us up in the DMs if you want to chat about Batch or you know anything else. You know, just let us know, right? And <laughs> until, <laughs> until then, we will see y'all soon. Adios, y'all. <laughs>